All right, we got Coach Robin Pastuch from Wanta. How we doing, Robin? Good, good, hanging in there. You know, another lovely Friday. That's right. It's a different it's... Friday right now, but. <laughs> you know. Where are, where are you right now? Are you chilling in your room? Yeah, I'm in my living room. Um, this is my apartment. My house is being renovated right now, so obviously nothing's happening. We're just waiting to move in. So, uh, just in my we're below my parents. So if you hear stuff upstairs, it's probably my dad like doing his step ups or something. <laughs> it's good he's doing. He's getting his exercise in. He's getting his. He's getting his heart rate up. That's that's important. You need that. Um, sure. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of tough. You know, I know, I know, especially with your your team, there's there's high expectations this year. Like, wh where did you kind of think? things were you know were shaping up for your group this year if you got a chance to play um I think we were going to make a lot of a lot of noise I think we were going to upset a lot of teams and you know teams that we may not have upset I think it was going to be a lot closer than it was last year uh we we have nine seniors there's 11 juniors all of them committed to play at some you know division one or division two I don't think there's any division three I think it's all one or two um and not that honestly the divisions really mean anything but they're they're top level Mm -hmm. they're, top, they're leaders they work their asses off um you know i've got two seniors playing in college 11 juniors certainly at least two sophomores and then probably the seven freshmen i have up with me this year i think all of them are going to be top d1 kids so we had, a, we had a lot of hope i was hoping to kind of get those freshmen get their feet wet this year um and then be ready to play for may you know that's that's the goal to 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 leave the field with a win. You know, that was our thing this year. We're going to leave the field with a win. Yeah. Was it kind of hard not being able to leave the field? Like, you know, the, the way things got kind of like postponed and halted, was it tricky to like go from like all this excitement to nothing at all? Uh, yeah, there are a lot of tears shed by, especially those senior girls, you know, fielding phone calls. Well, so what happened, we had a little bit even more of a crazy situation because we had practiced Thursday and then we left Thursday and then got a phone call at like seven o'clock PM that a high school kid in our school actually had the virus. So we were shut down Friday wow. and then everybody else shut down Monday. So teams got Friday, Saturday together, kind of knowing what was coming and we did it. So it was like very abrupt for us where my girls still have their equipment in their lockers. Like we can't even get into the school. We're trying to figure out how to get their stuff. So I think the fact that it was like such an abrupt, just like ending, Mm -hmm. uh, makes it even harder to stomach as a coach as somebody who like I, I you know I need to I look forward to this year round you know these girls I have a lot of girls who who work their butts off year round for the spring and um, you know I I work my butt off year round for the spring so I think it's been really hard I think we're, we're kind of coming to terms with the fact that what's going on and trying mm -hmm. to keep them in it as much as possible you know I had seniors shirts made up for the seniors say warriors forever well it's a warrior and it says forever uh, we're, we're kind of coming to terms with our new reality. Um, you know, it's not easy. And, and there's been a lot of talk of, do we come back? And they keep pushing it, they keep pushing it. Um, but luckily I do have a lot of friends who are coaches. So we've been doing a lot of stuff together uh, with our girls virtually and maybe the challenge. And um, we've even decided that we're gonna give our seniors a senior day. You know, no matter what happens when we come back, it might not be on school grounds, but we're going to have that game. We're going to put, you know, dress them up as close to a uniform as possible. We're going to put them on the field. We're going to film it. We're going to photograph it. We're going to give them their send off that they've worked four years for, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. Let's, um, let's talk a little bit more about like what you're doing virtual. I think what something that maybe other people don't know in the long lacrosse community, like you're, you're super involved and you've done a lot to help grow the Wanta lacrosse program, not just, physically but also online like your Instagram page and all the things that you do to connect with your players so now that right now there's no season like what are you doing to connect with your girls and make sure they're still getting better every single day so one thing I did last year and I actually used to do it when I coached for FLG too I split my team into two I split them into black and gold and they're split like from the very as soon as teams are made they're split so we were supposed to do jerseys and split the teams split the team on Friday we, you know we split varsity JV Thursday we were going to split into black and gold Friday. So I did it obviously virtually and I assigned their psych buddies and we do competitions throughout the entire season. They get points, like every drill's a point, you know, um, whoever wins side by that, that team gets points or goal in the ring, whatever the drill is, they get one to two points or whatever it is. So 
everything we do virtually is also on a point system. So it kind of keeps them involved, you know, like when they do their game day runs, which we actually stole from Bert alone over at Mount Sinai, they run two and a half to 3.1 miles on a game day. Um, and then they have to send me their time and a picture of themselves and whoever gives most, whoever, whichever team um, participates more and gets the best times gets points. Mm -hmm. So we're still doing our point system. We're still keeping that up. Um, we did a virtual dance off with Long Beach instead of it being uh, game day because I actually stole it from TK at Quinnipiac. They did. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, the rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, it was awesome. She was telling me about that too. Yeah, so I reached out to Des and I was like, you have to tell me how they did that. So she told me the app. So Rachel Ray over at Long Beach and I, I we were talking because we we're supposed to open up against each other. We're like, and we played, I don't know if you knew this, but all summer we played with Long Beach. We, our, our girls came out to Long Beach turf. You know, uh, we brought some college coaches out to watch and we just, they just ran up and down the field and played. Uh, cool. It was awesome. So we were excited. You know, they're like our frenemies. We were excited. We, we don't play against them in playoffs. It's purely like there's one game a year that we play each other and then we help each other the rest of the year. Um, we were excited to be changing film and stuff. So she's like, let's do dance off. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So my girl sent me videos, 10 second videos, her girl sent videos, and then we put them together. We put them in our story with a vote. They absolutely annihilated us in <laughs> every single <laughs> one, but it was really cute. And then I put it to like a big um, competition, like a big video. Uh, we also had them do like the pass the stick trick. This week, they have to come up with a handshake with their psych buddy, send it to me virtually. So, you know, stuff like that. That's awesome. Do you feel as though the girl it allows like your your players to kind of cope with this better now that they're like competitive and they're active and they're doing more things every week um it gives them something to look forward to you know it gives them a break from the virtual school work it gives them a break from the screen it gives them hope that we're still gonna have a season you know it's like it's so hard because i have to be honest i i when this all started when six canceled like the olympics i was like how are we gonna have a season they just postponed the olympics a year schools might not open back up. And I think it's just kind of grown into this big thing that nobody expected it to get to. Mm -hmm. um, and trying to keep them involved while still keeping their hopes up for something that might not happen mm -hmm. is it's been really hard, but they, they're into it. You know, we Zoom, we have, we don't Zoom, sorry. We do Google Meets um, where we, you know, everyone gets on the screen and we just kind of hang out and chat. I give it a couple of announcements and then that's it. You know, we've had a couple of big birthdays. It was uh, Maddie Taylor. She's 2022, and Ryan Smith, who's a senior, they did, uh, the girls got together and did a drive-by birthday celebration. They hung. That's cool. And, you know, so they're, they're getting, they love, they love each other. You know, mm -hmm. like, they truly love each other. So they've been looking forward to this all year, just like I have. So for them, I think it's kind of like wrapping their heads around it. And, and when, as soon as they can compete against each other, they're, they're game. So, yeah. That's awesome. How has the leadership on the team been since this all happened and who, you know, who's kind of stepped up to make sure that the girls are doing what they need to, to continue to get better? Um, so we, we had assigned Ali Alamo as a captain, not assigned, I guess, uh, designated or um, gave her the honor of being captain before the season started. She, she was actually committed to post, but then she had committed when they were D2 and really didn't want to play D1. So she's actually going to be going to Cortland. So I've been talking to Kelly about uh, her playing up there, but obviously it's, it's hard for her to, you know, really do anything right now. So she's, mm -hmm. uh, she's going to be going up to Cortland, hopefully playing for them. So she was captain. She's been kind of leading the way for the girls. And, and like I said, my, uh, my team loves each other. So once, once somebody is like, Hey, we're doing this, they do it. Like, I don't, I don't have to, they're, they're motivated. I don't really mm -hmm. have to push them. There's, you know, they're just, it's a team full of leaders, which sometimes doesn't work out, but in our case, it's been awesome. So. Yeah. How important is like lacrosse to, to this group? Like, is it like a part of their lifestyle? Is it more that something they just kind of do because you're telling them like, hey, we got practice, we got to do this. Like, what's that like for them? Um, I'd say out of the 29 I have up on varsity, 20 of them, this is their life. Like it's their passion. It's it's their everything. You know, we have Eva and Maddie, Eva and Maddie Lack, shout out on Instagram. <laughs> they go to the school before school starts and do wall ball, you know, like that. that's them. So, um, you know, they go the other day, the challenge was a thousand reps. They had to hit a thousand reps uh, on the wall ball and the rebounder, whatever with the partner pass, whatever it was, they had to hit a thousand reps. And Eva and Maddie both sent me videos of their thousand reps. And then like the other thousand <laughs> shots or behind the back or whatever else they were doing. And their parents were just like, we can't get the stick out of their hand. Like this is just, yeah, it's, it's their everything. And that's, I'd say that's 
for the whole junior class. It's that way, you know, you've got kids who played for me last year and then the girls that came up and are playing for me this year and there's no difference in the passion. Like they just live for it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, they're in their backyard shooting, they're working out, they're running, they're on the wall, they're, you know, having a pass with their parents, they're doing whatever they can to keep a stick in their hand. And you, you, as a coach, you can't teach that and you, mm -hmm. you can't ask for anything better. You know, it's yeah. like, it, it's a dream come true to have kids who are as passionate about the sport as I am. Um, yeah. It's, it's insane. Yeah, that's awesome. I noticed uh, you got the new sweatshirt there. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the swag that you guys get at Wanta. Swag. So uh, Adam Glickman over at Limburg Swag, he hooks it up. The seniors actually designed this. They wanted tie-dye and they wanted the drip. So uh, this was their <laughs> design. I, I bring uh, whoever wants to come with me to our gear meeting. Senior, I'm sorry, my blanket. Um, I got our Wanta Warriors blanket too. Sweet. Uh, whoever wants to come with us, they come and senior wise and they design it. So this was this year's sweatshirt that's not like lacrosse, you know, and then we've got yeah. uh we did our our uh camo. We've got pink camo for breast cancer this year. So those shirts are sweet too. It's in my room where I'd go get it, but Rob uh Rob's still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> still on the night shift. So he's he sleeps during the day. So nice. Yeah we don't we don't want to wake him up. We'll try not to be too loud. Keep the police officer safe. He's not working tonight so it's fine. But where is he? Where is he working out of mostly? Long Beach. Long Beach. He's in Long Beach. Nice. Yeah, so it, uh, we're our own city, so he's not like through Nassau or anything. It's just like Long Beach, which is nice because it's quiet here right now. Is the is the boardwalk still closed down there? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I think they're gonna close the beaches soon too. It's just too crowded. Like people yeah. are just not staying home. Gotcha. So it's hard. It's been nice out, and people want to get yeah. out of their house, and I get it. So and it's only gonna get nicer. That's the tricky yeah. part, right? And you know, uh, we want to get some nicer things calmed down and yeah. So like, let's say, let's say there's no season, you know, not to say that's happened yet, but let's say there's no season. Like how, how are you as a coach trying to like look ahead and be like, okay, like um, you mentioned the senior game, that's really cool. You know, pulling something like that off, but even like after your seniors graduate now it's next year, what's the approach to kind of keeping things going and keep the ball ball rolling? Um, I think the first thing we'll do, which is very uncharacteristic of me as a coach, I think I'd name my captains right away for next year. Um, I don't like to do that because I like to see who steps up, you know, during tryouts and throughout the year getting things done. But I think in order to kind of keep keep the ball rolling and the momentum and to honestly, like I said, I've got a thousand leaders, I think to kind of narrow it down to who is my liaison to the team, I would mm -hmm. name captains. Um, for sure going to do the whole Long Beach thing this summer again with the girls and have them come down once a week, play on the turf, just get their runs in. Um, you know, try, try to keep the ball. It's, it's so hard. It's, it's just yeah. to try to, you know, you keep that momentum going all year, all year for, for March, you know, you're going to yeah. be down to March. We had our top 10 moments on Instagram from the seat from last year's season. You know, we had, we introduced all the, the returning players. Like it was, our countdown to March and then March came and it got ripped away from us. So it's a, uh, it's hard to, to kind of have that mentality to keep that up again for a whole nother year. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, just keeping them playing, we'll play mm -hmm. in the, we've been playing in the um, RK athletics, the uh, Northport winter league, mm -hmm. the only NASA other than Farmingdale team in there. And you know, that's, I mean, what's a better competition than playing Northport, Mount Sinai, ESM, like sure. playing teams all, all winter. Um, so we'll keep that up, but just trying to keep the, the, you know, the attitudes up really yeah. just trying to keep their, their demeanor high. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you had like a really, you have a really good formula in place and, you know, if you can kind of keep the mental aspect and like the mentality, you know, positive, then you guys will be in a really good spot next year. Cause you do, while you had a big senior class, I mean, your junior class, it's pretty unbelievable. Yeah. That's kind of unheard of, you know, at, at a public school to have that many players going to college in one class. It's, it's unheard of. And I think um, I think what helps us is that we've got a lot of like ties to the PAL too. Yeah. So I think we'll probably add in some extra clinics this year just to keep the girls on the field. But I also, I really don't like to, inter to interfere with their other sports. You know, a lot of those mm -hmm. girls play volleyball and soccer in the fall and volleyball was state champs two years ago and soccer made it to the county championship. So it's like, mm -hmm. I also don't want to, and basketball, they made, mm -hmm. they made it to the counties every year. It's not, it's not, something I want to interfere with you know like sure. I want them to have their season so it's a the fine line to kind of be able to to keep them involved and also let them be athletes on other teams that are competitive and yeah you know, I I 
being at Wanta, you know, every kid in my elementary school classroom can do a back tuck, back handspring. <laughs> you know, like, I'm like, oh, okay, like you're all ridiculous athletes. Like they're mm -hmm. just bred differently here. So mm -hmm. I want them to play all their sports. So it's, yes. it's trying to kind of keep their mindset on lacrosse while they're also concentrated on their sport that it's their season. So sure. Well, I feel like I feel like you have that mentality because you also have a big picture mindset. You understand that, hey, if you're going to play in college one day, this is what college coaches want. And you've obviously helped your girls through that process. Can you I always like to leave our interviews with this, especially asking someone like you who has a ton of experience. Like if there's a girl that maybe is going through the recruiting process right now or it just wants to play in college because she might only be in eighth, ninth, tenth grade. What's just one piece of advice you can give to them to kind of help them through these times? Just stay well-rounded. Um, you know, I have, so I had a conversation we were talking before. I had a Google meet with all my freshmen. I was like, listen, record your wall balls. Like, do, make, make like a little combine. If you watch any softball, baseball players highlight tapes, it's not of a game. It's of their skill set. So we may need to go into that a little bit while we're in this crazy, like, unknown and just start kind of filming yourself doing your wall ball routine Film, film yourself, you know, running your sprints, running your miles, um, you know, your footwork drills, just kind of let the coaches see your intangibles that, you know, that you can work on while there's no contact, you know, and, and film that. And I've had, you know, even Maddie Lack shout out again, they've both been sending me their wall ball routines and getting together clips from all the other things that they've been doing, all their summer clips, just get whatever you can, get a little tape together to send out to schools. And, you know, now's the time to do some virtual tours of schools, see, see what you're looking for. Um, that's really, it's stay well rounded, stay up on your schoolwork. And now's the time to do research. You've got all the time in the world, do your research, figure out what you are looking for from a college experience. And then start, you know, start recording yourself like a combine, you know, football players too, mm -hmm. combine yourself. I awesome. Huge to start. Like we got to move in that direction a little bit, I think. Well, coach Robin, really appreciate your time and, and all your advice and wish you guys luck moving through this. Thanks, Cora. Appreciate it.